<laughs> you ready? Alright boys, so in the last video you guys saw, we bought a new scooter and I teased you guys. I didn't even get to show you guys the scooter. Surprisingly enough, only a few people were able to guess it. A lot of people who have been asking for this scooter. But yeah, cool enough, I actually have two scooters to show you guys today um, that we picked up. One's a parts bike, kinda. Without putting you guys off any longer, I present to you my first ever Bug Eye Zuma. Horizontal Minarelli engine. She's clean too and um, today we're gonna dig into it and see what's truly in this bike because the guy I bought it from um, Didn't know too much about the scooter curious to see what's actually in here as far as I could tell He said the scooter did like 80 miles per hour or something like that But he doesn't really know what like parts are on it first things first We have the Leo Vince chamber pipe right here, which are pretty good I do have one on my pre bug right here, but it's a different style not the chamber So I'm curious to see how this one is. What's up, dude? But uh, yeah, so this one has a board kit on it and from what I could see from over here on this side, I saw a black cylinder and it says Polini down there. Uh, looks like it melted through the fan shrouds a little bit. So we gotta really see what's the deal with this thing. So um, we're gonna go ahead and pretty much tear all the way into this thing today. Feels like it has good compression. Is this just a plastic cover? I could take this thing off. The dude said it needs an oil change. So uh, that kind of scares me that uh, he says my two stroke needs an oil change. Also, it has a title, but he lost the key to it, so the seat was locked, couldn't open the seat, so I had to take the front shield off to pop open the seat because the seat on this one opens from the key ignition, which is kind of crazy, honestly. And then the cable runs all the way through the whole entire frame rail to the back. Um, I already ordered a whole new key ignition with new keys, so that's on the way. Um, but yeah, I really just mostly want to see what we're what we're dealing with here today drain everything out of the tank because when I looked in the tank It looked black so I'm thinking the guy put motor oil in the tank because someone probably told him he needs oil in his gas That's probably why it stopped running on him and then obviously why he stopped riding it so. Oh man, this thing looks like it's gonna be a pain to work on without taking every piece of plastic off this thing But here we got another bug eye Zuma. It's funny that I picked this up the same day. This one was free and uh, the homie that I bought all my pre-bugs from and my GP1 right there from pretty much said, hey, come grab this, I'll give it to you for free. And it's a uh, horizontal Minarelli, of course. This thing's seen better days. Uh, as you can see, we got rusted crank bearings and a uh, super rusty cylinder right there. But uh, I have cases and it was free, so I'm pretty much just gonna drop the motor out of this and then ditch the rest of this bike because the frame rail has literally has a hole in it on this side. And pretty much everything else is kind of useless on it. And uh, see, here's a look at the seat uh, latch I was talking about. So the cable runs, goes into the frame rail right here, goes all the way up the entire frame rail, comes back out the frame rail right here, and that's what opens the seat. Pretty interesting design. Yeah, pretty much gonna take the gas tank off this, the motor, the shock, and then throw everything else away besides the front wheel and stuff. So I got this scooter for $300 when this pipe alone is worth over $300. That's pretty crazy to me. The only thing that's like really noticeably bad is the seat, which sucks. I just gave Cole an extra bug eye seat I had, which was like way better condition than this one. He put an aftermarket car, but he didn't put the right throttle cable on it. So he has the wrong throttle cable for the Zuma because you need the one that screws in to the throttle housing. He has one for like a DO where it's threaded to the throttle housings. Well, I don't know if we're gonna get this thing running today because looking at it, it's gonna need, hey. It's gonna need a lot more work than I thought. First look into this, um, mostly it's gonna need work because I wanna go through this thing now. After seeing the stuff that's done to it, it's kinda scary. So, 
first things first, we got a stage six choke. So you just kind of, you just got to lift this bad boy up and then your choke's on. So then you just, you know, you take your, your choke cable that, uh, leave it down there. And then you got to come around and manually pull up the choke. So you, you got both. And then when you shut it off, you just, and then you do that number. And then, you know, your throttle cable, since they, you know, you buy the ones that's not meant for this bike that has threads. So that way it doesn't get stuck. You have a little play in there, so it's a little loose. And then because your seat sits right here, um, the throttle cable, it like likes to be like this, but it's gonna get pressed by your seat. So what you do is you just you just bend it all the way until the throttle cable is literally breaking out of the casing, and then then you just put your seat down just like that. This uh, looks like a Chinese intake here and a Chinese carb for sure, a Chinese filter. This is like iconic Chinese filter right there. But uh, yeah, so. Uh, you don't really want your carb dripping because of these overflow tubes right here, so when you drain it, so what you do is you loop it, so that way you can never just drain your carb and your carb doesn't vent. So you just do that, and then um, you want to you want to plug these intakes because uh, we're running a shutoff valve, we're not doing a petcock that requires intake um, to suck it through, so what you do is you just, you just lightly just set these over here, that way you still get some intake um, extra fast, so it sucks in air through these ports, so you get super fast motors, so we can actually just ditch that and then just have it super fast turbos and these are both turbos Chinese CDI box in here you know the dyno graph so you know it's fast right there super super fast Chinese um, CDI I think I have a stock one like boxes of bug eye parts right here and uh, new clutch setup for this thing in there too that we picked up the other day so we have so much stuff to do right now it's insane but uh is that one mounts right here Oh, that stock mounts. It might mount right there, stock. What kind? What was in this fuel? Look at this. Looks like soy sauce, dude. You see that? It's literally cheap little Chinese carb. I'm assuming there's nothing on it. Just says 21 PWK, but the the cheapy looking red and black is what gives it away. All right, boys, we got it down this far. Now the only thing is, I know it's a Pliny obviously, it's stamped Pliny on the side and I already kind of assume because it has a Champion plug in it and that's usually what comes in those kits. But the only thing I don't know now, is this a Contessa or is it a Corsa? Until we find out that, I shall call this the Corsessa. I'm going to soak this bad boy in purple power because just about every crevice in this thing is soaked in grease and oil buildup. So soak it in purple power. Um, Probably gonna let this tank drain out and then uh, we'll go from there. Dude, what is this? is the worst smelling gas I've ever smelled in my entire life, dude. What are you, bro? It's so black. What is that? Dude, I can't even describe the smell. It smells like gear oil mixed with like fish, and it's clumpy. It's like I'm watching it like clump out. Gee. Oh my god. Someone buy this motor so I can get rid of this thing already. I want, I want this thing gone. I don't want to see it no more. This thing, about to drop the motor, throw the frame away. Um, this thing, all cleaned up right now. So look how much cleaner it is in there. Boom, we got the side case all cleaned off. We got that purple power going crazy over here. Um, need new fuel lines. Man, I'm running out of room in this garage. Though. I just spent so much time putting GP1 parts up here. I'm trying to fill in these shelves, but look at the shelves are getting full. Shelves are overflowing. Look at all these stock pipes I got over here. If anybody needs a stock pipe, let me know. I got two bug eye stock pipes. I got uh, one, two pre-bug stock pipes. Uh, AF16 stock pipe two AFO5 stock pipes and a GP1 stock pipe. Two GP1 stock pipes. I think that's kind of going to do it for the bug eye uh, for today because uh, I really don't have anything else to do until I get some parts. Um, I'm not trying to get it running right now as is. There's a lot of stuff to be done on it. Um, literally everything's so heavy on the bug eye. Like, dude, this seat right here is literally the heaviest, heaviest seat I've felt. And then the front fairing with the headlights in it over here is like... 30 pounds as well right there. That thing is so heavy. So like, I can't imagine how it is wheeling in that bike. I feel like it's gonna be really heavy, really, really, really heavy. As far as the GP1 Piaggio motor build, I kinda am putting this one on hold for now because I mostly just want an air box. And uh, if I get an air box, I'm kinda gonna ride this thing stock for a little bit because uh, I mean, they're pretty quick stock. So 
Um, still, I need an airbox for this. If you have a Typhoon, a Piaggio, Hyper 2, uh, horizontal motor, and you have a stock airbox, please let me know. I will get that airbox off you. Or if you need a GP1 parts, I will trade you. So let me know. Well, there's your bug eye Zuma frame. Stripped down, I took literally everything apart off of it. Even the gas tank. This is the dump pile. I gotta take this Honda eventually somewhere to get taken to the dumpster because, uh, well, I mean, if you just look at it, it looks broken. So, like, it's gotta go to the dumpster at some point. So you guys should have hit me up for parts for this when you, when you should have because I posted it five different times and only a few people hit up me for parts. Like, someone hit me up for these side marker things and I was like, all right, well, I mean, they're painted. And they're like, oh, well. Well then, I don't really want them. Well then, why do I still have them? If you do need this side, it'll be um, right here. Move the headlight out of the way. It's this piece, um, the wind jammer piece. It's actually right there. So, all right, but that's gonna do it for working on stuff today. Now it's time to get to riding. We're gonna go mob this trail tonight. We got a few buddies meeting up, so let's get to it, boys. We're rolling out, boys. This car has been giving me a little issues lately. Been breaking up a little bit. Got that fresh mop, boys. Windbreaker on. You already know the deal. Come on now. Moped Central over here now. What's up, son? What up? God damn! Look at this whole garage! <laughs> Bro, this whole... That's where all the mopeds went. What's up, dude? How's it going? How's it going, man? Good. 31B or 360. So this is a 50cc two-stroke water cooled. Here's the water pump. Here's the, dude, the water pump right there. Is that the water, the water pump? pump. So check no this out, bro. Way. These are 15 horsepower stock. There's a Jeez. six or a seven gear in the front, and then like the, Wes yeah. has the, the MB5. Mopeds on mopeds, real mopeds. The <laughs> 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 Man. <laughs> I mean, I got them used, so I'm, I'm sure they're fine. You got them used. Oh, no, I didn't. Look at the that pipe a, on this, Johnny. Oh, yeah, it's a little circuit pipe. <laughs> Crispy. <laughs> here we go, boys. It's been a minute since we've been out here. It's been a minute. Here we go, here's the jumps. Oh! 
The pre boy job, son! <laughs> Honda was, last time I came out here with the Honda, bro, was not good, man. Airbox kept falling off and the bike would not run without the airbox off, and then I popped my tire. Man, it was a struggle. Pops almost aided on the derby piece. There you go, Pops. Okay. Bending blocks. Catch up to the pack. He looked back so fast. I think we're literally passing out to Boulder City right now. <laughs> that fool went off! That's so funny. Oh! Almost went out! <laughs> The kid pops out there in the desert. <laughs> Hell yes! <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. I can't hear you. What did you say? <laughs> Let me get one. <sighs> She's coming back. Oh. All right, we're rolling out. That lady was a crab and for sure it was calling the cops on us. She was just filming us.
Boys, we're mobbing back right now. I haven't even been talking because we've been focusing. It's the whole way ripping right now. Me and Wes just like side by side smashing up here. Cut. There we go. <laughs> yeah, we're going 45 at least right now. Just It was this way. <laughs>